What's up, everybody? It's Grim, your YouTube Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Champion, along with Pretty Old Paige. <laughs> and we are here today with your Raw Reaction. It's not a full-on review of the show. I'm just going to talk about the major things that happened on Monday Night Raw, because I thought it was a pretty good episode, even though I see people all over Twitter, Worst episode ever! This is the worst build to WrestleMania! I'm not even excited for WrestleMania! Oh, WWE sucks! WWE sucks! Grim, if you say that Raw was good, unsubscribe! Worst episode ever. <laughs> Seriously, I, I'm not going to say Raw was the best episode ever, but I thought it was solid. You know, kind of like a loaf of shit. It was solid. <laughs> Wasn't the greatest crap of all time. I thought a lot of good things happened on Raw, like the ending with Randy Orton putting Seth Rollins through the table with an RKO. He's picking him up on the table, and Rollins is like, Viper, no viping! Viper, no viping! <gasps> RKO out of nowhere. Oh man. And hey, at least they made Roman Reigns look strong by beating Rollins and Orton in a handicap match. Of course, it was because Orton turned on Rollins, but who cares? We made Roman look strong. Roman look strong. Roman look strong. Roman wins. People are pissed. You know what everybody hated, and I can agree, was Wiz Khalifa. Fuck him. Take a Wiz Khalifa. Worst performance ever? I mean, seriously, who the fuck is this clown, right? As this guy's performing, the crowd is jeering. People were pissed! I think that if President Putin would have came out on stage, he would have got less heat than Wiz Khalifa. Everybody hated him. The Twitter hate had me like, ah! <laughs> I was dying laughing. But what was awesome was Damien Wizdow. <laughs> this guy is fantastic. Damien Sandow, like, this is the type of character that pisses excellence. I love this guy. He's so talented. I can't wait to see him rise to the top. Well, hopefully at some point. And how come Seth Rollins wasn't out there dancing with Wiz Khalifa? Ah, uh, you know what it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> Failed it. Oh, here's a question. Is Axelmania officially over, brother? <laughs> Rusev came out and kicked the ever-living shit out of him. And then John Cena comes running down, puts Rusev in the STF, shoves his red, white, and blue dick up Rusev's Russian rear end, and makes him pass out. I'd pass out, too, if I had fucking somebody's dick up my ass. I'd be like, ah! ah! I'm dead. So then Lana, I mean anal, comes out and says that she will grant Cena the rematch at the WrestleMania. And now we have the rematch at WrestleMania. I can't believe anybody actually thought Axelomania was going to be at the WrestleMania. Nobody likes him. Even though I think he did a really good job with Axelomania. Axelomania failed at times 45. You're out of WrestleMania. Maybe he'll come out in that um, Battle Royal or something, right? The Andre the Giant Battle Royal? Why the hell not? Maybe they'll put him in the Intercontinental title match. I mean, they're putting everybody else in the Intercontinental title match. Like Daniel Bryan. Everybody's all like, ooh, the Intercontinental title, it doesn't mean anything. So then, okay, well, let's put it on Daniel Bryan, perhaps. Maybe he'll win it at the WrestleMania. No! Why would Daniel Bryan go for a mid-card belt when he's a three-time champion? It brings prestige to the belt. Daniel Bryan beats Bad News Barrett, and Dean Ambrose beats Stardust, and then they all hit, like, the gangbang of finishers on each other, and then R-Truth steals... Bad News Barrett's sack, which does not sound good. You have to see it to know what's going on here about the sack. And <laughs> Bad News Barrett pulls a replica belt out of the sack. He's like, no, I'm going to go some bad news. This is a toy. And R-Truth once again steals the Intercontinental belt. Setting up for this ladder match, which now has seven guys? Or is it six? I don't know who's officially confirmed. And what's going on with the Jon Stewart and Rollins thing? I didn't see them really kind of bring that up. Uh, is that over with? Or it was like Jon Stewart going to be in Randy Orton's corner at WrestleMania? Here's your daily show of RKO's. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? Daily show of RKO's. That's a, that's a good team name. See, I came up with it. I'm always thinking. Apparently, due to internet rumors, everyone was expecting The Undertaker to show up on Raw. And I was like, no, he's not. They're keeping him off TV until WrestleMania 31. And, you know, I like that because it builds a mystique. We're like, oh, my God, I haven't seen The Undertaker since he got beat up by Brock Lesnar last year. I can't wait to see what he looks like. So, no Undertaker. People were pissed. They're like, where the fuck's The Undertaker? All we got to see was a fucking flaming rocking chair. And Gay White was like, ooh, I'm flaming, but I'm not that flaming, Booth, you bitch. <laughs> Gay White was so excited for The Undertaker's response. And they finally announced it's going to be Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania to put Bray Wyatt over as the new face of fear. 
which would make total sense, which is exactly why he'll lose. Because, you know, WWE doesn't like to make any sense. What was with Sting's voice? Was Sting's voice fucked up on purpose? Triple H, I will come for you! I mean, why not just give him comic book guy's voice? What the fuck? Hey, at least when Ryback teamed up with Eric Rowan, they beat the Big Show and Kane. But I'm thinking, what's the best way to make people not give a shit at all about Ryback? Team him up with Big Red Rowan. I mean, here's four guys now in a match nobody gives a shit about. And you know who else nobody gives a shit about, which I really feel bad about, is is the New Day, New Day. I seen on Twitter, somebody made a meme, piss break, piss break. <laughs> Remember, Divas match, gotta pee, Divas match, gotta pee, from my Rumble reactions. <laughs> well, now, Divas match, gotta pee, is also applied to New Day, piss break. What happened to the Ascension? Does anybody care? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, 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 one thing, like, on a super serious note. Props to the WWE for putting Connor the Crusher in the Hall of Fame, receiving the very first Warrior Award. I mean, how emotional is that? It, it brought me to tears just seeing it on Raw. I mean, how the hell am I going to watch the Hall of Fame and see that? As, as, as a dad, that just destroys you on the inside. It, it's a poor, poor kid. Oh, I, 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 I don't want to think about it. God bless you, Connor the Crusher. And thank you to the WWE for putting him in the Hall of Fame Warrior Award. That's amazing. One of the greatest things that they've done. I, 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 nothing but respect. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of Raw. I'm going to be spending the evening taping together this page because she's going to be my co-host on the fan mail videos when I sit in the car. <laughs> I gotta tape her back together because fucking Heel Wife destroyed her. You didn't see that? Check out the main channel. Link in the description below. Heel Wife destroyed my other page, Sandy. Failed it. Let me know what you guys think of Raw in the comments below. And I thank you for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more Grim Out. You didn't even talk about me, Mitch. I was at Ring Soy with AJ, and AJ defeated Summer Rae. And <laughs>